don't know what happened earlier but this is quite cool out here do you know what my water focus i need to sort it out but it's quite cool from what i can see not too bad i ain't gonna lie mate that that building with the lights are quite it's quite dope it's quite neat yeah man let me show you the pretty side of brussels see i'm not even i'm not even so much a vlogger out here but i'm getting into it you know what for the solo travels why not why not? It's all about all about the experience, isn't it? I know people want me to do a London version, but I don't really like London to be fair. London is too uncivilized. And it surprises me when there's people that wanna move into London from Europe. I'm thinking, wow. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand when it comes to work and stuff and, you know, you want to make an honest living and, and everything, but, um, nah, not for me, man. Tell you what, the moment I reach the Netherlands, I'll be a happy boy. I'll be a happy mystery, mate, I'll tell you that much. But next year, take my brother there and inspire him to change his life around. You know, I've got a love for my brother, people. And uh, as years gone on, the lovers grew. I think maybe because I see the bigger side of things when it comes to um, life in general. That's a pretty life. Yeah, when it comes to life in general. <laughs> yeah, mate. See, do you know what's interesting? I probably will start doing more vlog then I do photos, but you know what? We'll keep the photography flowing, mate. Wow, look at this. Do you know what? Imagine if it was wet, if it was raining. Mate, water reflections would be phenomenal, mate. Uh, just like a very special person used to call me, Boubert. <laughs> yeah, mate. I'll be hearing the Boubert. <laughs> This is cute. Oh, I'd hear the boo. <laughs> this is so cool. So, they're working on their basketball free thrower. It probably won't be a Michael Jordan, but you never know. See, I see all of this in Portugal. Now, you see, because I want to say about London being uncivilized, right? In London, you couldn't leave none of this hanging around because in London, it would get robbed. But in Belgium, I don't know, they're civilized. Portugal, civilized. Holland, um, uh, they are civilized, but I hear they do tea for a lot of bikes out there, so questionable. But I'm not gonna badmouth my favorite country like that. I'm gonna have respect for that name way it represents but I'm just giving you a little satin satin and that is fucking cool up there mate. see in Croydon they could do that on a lot of buildings man it'd be a nice attraction me what I gotta work on is sticking to one thing and just pushing hard for it making it a success because I'm tiring myself out doing so many different things and I'm not considering my health and well-being right we've got to take a right on this one uh, when I come back later because the street will be a bit more quieter and dead you can do a lot more visual wires on photography because of the reflections depending on what sort of look you're trying to get also, <clears throat> rule number one, always have a portable charger no matter what when it comes to these sort of travels. Because you just never know. You never know. 
Yeah, mate. You never know what's around the corner, bro. But you know what? I don't fear for my safety because I'm quite street savvy. You know what I mean? I'm always, I'm always on my P's and Q's, mate. Always. Always on my P's and Q's. Even though I look like a mong, yeah, holding this thing and talking to myself. But <clears throat> I like the aspect of uh, having a life diary, a digital life diary, because a lot of my friends are either in prison or they're dead. Um, I had friends who used to get involved in gun crime, um, used to get involved in class A drugs, so we're talking your crack cocaine, your crack in general, where it would be like a stone quantity. You know, and they did dumb decisions and they got caught for it. You know, I was a young person at the time, but it was a shame really because I enjoyed being around it. Not the drug system or the guns and whatnot, but it was mostly because I just liked the unity. And there was more of a unity back then because there was more respect and principle. But, um, yeah, mate, this is still pretty. You know what? Whenever I see children, I always turn my camera away because I don't like them to that sort of thing. You know what I mean? I just don't like it. I'm, I'm one of these sort of people when people ask me, can you do a photo shoot of my child? I usually just say no because I'm just uncomfortable. You know what I mean? But back to Belgian stuff. So, you know what? Belgium seems quite cushy, seems quite relaxed for me walking around and everything. The only thing I will say with Belgium, I would say Belgium is probably one of those places where you actually probably, you could live here. And if you want a peaceful life and a normal life of just living here and getting by, then this is the place I would say. I wouldn't say it's like on the same sort of level as Amsterdam because Amsterdam blows Brussels out of the water. If you ask me now watch the vlog tomorrow when i'm in amsterdam i'm gonna be a lot more sort of out there but i have to also bear in mind that i don't want to break any fucking law out there to be fair i mean i don't really mind if i break a law in belgium but it's long going to the embassy and then trying to fix it all out mate you know what I mean? Nobody, nobody has time for that. I like that shot. Um, nobody has time for that sort of shit. You know what I mean? And the same rule applies from when I'm in London to when I might be in Belgium or in Holland. If I am approached in a hostile way, anything goes, mate. And the thing is as well, it, you don't really know whether they're gonna whip a knife out or anything like that in, in London most of the time. But in Brussels, they might be man enough to go mano y mano, you know what I mean, and, and, and duke it out. But I don't want to be, be all negative and shit, people. I don't want to be all negative. Um, be positive about it. But I want to make it a bit flavor, flavoring, you know? And that's what it's all about. I did look up whether did Belgium have any sort of coffee shop like they do in Holland unfortunately they don't but um, that's just the way the cookie crumble but I'm gonna explore a lot more Brussels anyway and I'm gonna I'm gonna put Brussels down or anything like that you know even though even though I said originally when I was when when people asked me why 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 Brussels I'm like it's just a tick off <laughs> just a tick off mate you know what I mean? Oh, okay, we're in the right place. So we got sex shop there. So we, you know what I noticed, people, and I, and I, and as weird as it sounds, and I notice it in every part of like. So let's say, for example, you're going to a place where it's a district or it's a fucking um, them sort of places, yeah. You're in, a, you're in a weird environment where you're just like, rah, boom. Ain't got, 
you like in a weird environment where you like boom you feel like there's hostile territory about here and there you know what i mean regardless you go pink street in portugal pink street in portugal is one of those sort of places where i had a co-worker friend of mine told me that be careful around them street because it's well connected <clears throat> To a point where if you start with starting one person, you're gonna have about 50, 50 other people around you. You see me? You just gotta be sometimes stone cold out here. And you just need to just say, screw it. You know what I mean? Fuck it. You know, and just run with it. Not a problem. See, most, most people that I know that go on holiday and things like that, they don't experience the nightlife properly. I can kind of see why, because the street that I just walked down, people will be feeling a certain type of way, to be fair with you. But you just need to sort of let them know what I've gone and that you're not here to tolerate nonsense. This is why if I was with, uh, yeah, trust me, it would be an educational lesson for some people. You know what I mean? And it's so annoying because there's some people out here you want to toughen up, but they're scared sometimes and they just, they're not built for certain environments, if that makes sense. They're just not built for that environment. <clears throat> like most people, for example, they go on holiday and they stay near the hotel. They don't really expand out there. I feel like sometimes at work, when people ask me about Amsterdam, I feel like an Amsterdam travel agent sometimes. You know what I mean? Oh, these are pretty, mate. Very pretty. You know what, out of all my favorite ones here, that black dress looks very nice. It's the black dress that looks amazing. And I say, I do. Yeah, so, <clears throat> when I start seeing a group of people and they gave me a certain stare and a certain look. It's fine. It's when you walk past them and then they start following your footsteps. That's when you're like, all right. That's when you start strategizing and you start thinking of certain corners, even though they're on home turf, it's home territory. You're in an environment where you're like, all right, boom. Anything happens, this, anything happens, you just got to hope that you get away good and that the police are on your side because you're a tourist but by all means defend yourself by any means necessary but don't be in like don't go into places like in brazil where you're in the favelas where the police are like second question and going in there to sort out whatever they need to sort out but brussels people tell me that the, the crime rate here is quite low but it's like um you just need to keep your wits about you. That's all I'm saying. Wow, look at that. That's pretty, mate. That's pretty. Not my type, type of music, but pretty. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> now, this reminds me of a certain someone. Uh, it's hard looking at it for too long, man. Too much, too much memories. Yeah, you know I mean, too much memories and too much anger. Not even towards that person, but towards the people around that person. But sometimes I have to think rational. I have to think very logical sometimes. I have to think logical to a degree of, you know, avoiding a, 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 an arrest or avoiding getting into any form of trouble because I don't want no fucking trouble you know what I mean you see I don't even have my rings on that's at home and I, I didn't even put my rings on because I felt like it wasn't even necessary nice shot so do you know what people you're probably wondering why am I showing my husband boat so much um, a lot of it is down to a lot of it is down to like I've got a lot of people walking walking towards me and I'm gonna show a bit of respect and not have the camera all beam up in her in their face. That's another nice pretty shot. 
There's a dress there, I know one person looked banging in it. You know what I mean? So, for people that are from Croydon, I'm getting a lot of West Croydon vibes, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Now you go to a plate, like, don't get me wrong, when I was in New Jersey, in the USA, that was a different ball game, my friend. Different ball game. Because they got guns out there. And that's where you better make sure that your street smart is on point. Because I looked I looked Hispanic anyway, so I could blend in. But um and it's the same with Portugal. Like in certain parts of Portugal I look Brazilado, so <clears throat> didn't really affect me. But if you think you're going to wear a fucking t-shirt saying I love whatever country you're going to They're going to suss you out really quickly That's a nice little setup They'll suss you out really quickly mate And it ain't going to go well for you But, alright, I'm turning it around now So I'm getting a lot of West Korean vibes if you know what I'm saying We'll go there because it looks pretty See, I'm quite slick with my quite slick with my nighttime photography, mate. So we'll get some bits. But yeah, yeah, a lot of these dresses, man. Dun 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 dun. Hey, 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 I know that song very well. Yeah, mate. Right, I'm gonna lock the video off because I need to concentrate on what I'm doing and where I'm going. Like right, that golden green dress, mate. It's pretty. It's so, so pretty. Right, we're locking off. <laughs> 